Hey guys, this is Steffi. Uh, welcome to Drawing with Steffi. Uh, today we're going to do something a little different. We are going to talk a little bit more about pressure sensitivity and psi. I've had a ton of people uh, who've watched the video I've done before and who still are having some problems, so I wanted to go over a couple more tips. Uh, number one, I want to make sure that you are using a legal copy of Psy. I know for certain people's budget it can be kind of expensive, but in the long run it's much better to support the publisher of Psy. It is really only about $50 depending upon the conversion rate of the yen. Uh, when you get a pirated copy of Psy, it's, sometimes it's not going to work because of the way it's been hacked. Uh, so you're always not getting a great product when you when you get a non-legal copy. Uh, something else you want to do, oops, excuse me, um, is install is uninstall your Wacom driver or your tablet driver. You'll want to use a program like CCleaner to clean out uh, any deleted or orphan files. Um, it just helps to make sure there are no conflicts. Sometimes there can be old pieces of programming that will conflict with your drivers and cause problems. Uh, so you'll want to reboot the computer after you've done that and then reinstall your tablet driver. Something else you want to do is make sure your tablet is actually compatible with Psy. Uh, nowadays, uh, a tablet can mean a lot of different things. It can mean one of the new tablet computers, um, which are nearly laptops but without keyboards, and then there's also graphic tablets, uh, which is what most Wacoms are. Um, they are not computers by their lonesome. Um, they need to be plugged into another system. Um, not all of the new style computer tablets run Windows, and Psy is a Windows-based program. Um, some of these other tablets run Android or a different form of Windows, and it's just not compatible. Um, I'm not sure what program or what operating systems are compatible with Psy, but if you're having that kind of problem, it, that might be why. Um, something else you want to do is make sure your tablet works uh, with other programs just to see to make sure your tablet is actually functioning correctly. Other good programs that do have sensitivity are GIMP and Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop often comes paired with your tablet when you buy it or you can get GIMP and that's free. Uh, something else you can try is making sure that the Psy program is working correctly. Sometimes it can be a little buggy depending upon your system. Uh, so what you want to do is try uninstalling Psy, again use CCleaner and then reinstall Psy. Uh, something else you want to do is uh, make sure that the minimum is not set at 100. That's the little toggle down here underneath size. Uh, a lot of the default brushes it's set at 100. You also want to make sure that down here under advanced settings that pressure and density uh, are set. Um, if you take off si size, that will make the brush not have any pressure sensitivity. Um, sometimes it's hard to find that because it's hidden under advanced settings and the default view is it's closed. So you just want to click on that and it'll bring it up. If you're having problems finding it because of uh, some of the things you have in your toolbox here is you can grab the edges. Let me see if I can find one. Here we go. You can move this up and that will bring this back up too. You can also remove some of the windows. You just go into windows and turn things off. Like let's see, let's get rid of the color wheel. And that gives you more space down here and that might help so you can find everything. Uh, next thing you want to do is check your tablet preference program. Now I don't know what it looks like in other systems because I've only used Wacom tablets but it's underneath hardware and sound and for Wacom it's going to be tablet properties and you just click on that and it brings it up and this is where you can customize how much sensitivity the tablet has um, you can either go into customize here and you draw on this little gray square and it will show you how sensitive it is currently and then you can use this little box here and you can grab the little square and that will make it more or less sensitive. Um, I like mine fairly firm because I have a heavy hand and I like it to be thin. Um, you can also go into the tip feel and move the little toggle and that'll kind of set it for you. Again, mine is more on the firm there. Um, but something else you want to make sure is you've got the device selected, the stylus selected, it says grip pin, and then you want to make sure that the program in question, like Psy, is selected when you change those. Let's get rid of that. 
You also want to make sure that um, when you first unpack your Wacom that you've properly set it up. Um, here, there's something else you want to look at. Let's see, it's in options, I think. Nope. Uh, mapping. You want to make sure that your uh, tablet is mapped correctly so it's showing the full screen. and Because that can also make it act kind of wonky. Alright, again, Psy does not work on Macintosh, so if you have a Mac-based uh, system, um, Psy is not designed to work on that, and I've heard that that's what causes a lot of problems. You can run window programs on Macintosh uh, by using like a terminal program. I don't have Macs, so I don't know the details on that. You have to search the internet on how to run Windows on Mac. Uh, next thing, again, you want to make sure your tablet is actually functioning. The best thing to do is to unplug it and then use another computer, preferably a desktop running Windows. Um, install the tablet drivers and then make sure that the tablet itself is working. If it's not, you'll want to contact the manufacturer. Again, your best bet is to go with Wacom. Uh, they are the industry standard. Most of the questions I get are from people using some of those off brands um, or the systems that are like Cintiqs, but they're like Yanova or the Hurion. Again, I don't have any of those systems. I tried the Yanova, but it didn't work well for me. Um, it did work with Psy, but um, it ran a little too hot for me. Uh, it was burning my hand. <laughs> uh, so I hope this has helped. If you guys still have any other questions, uh, please let me know. I'll try to answer them. Uh, and also, if you have suggestions for other tutorials, please let me know. I'd like to do some more. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.